entire world is a collection of memoranda that she did exist and that I have lost her. This is our story, Tessa's and mine. Uh, are you all able to gauge what the fans are so fascinated by in those characters? I mean, they, they follow them with such, you know, avid anticipation. Their support is extraordinary for the whole thing. I think it all stems from, from uh, the, the story Anna's created, because uh, they've all kind of been there with that, that same passion since, and obviously now we've been lucky enough to bring it to screen, it's just kind of grown, uh, and it still is growing. So yeah, it's crazy. Um, they are amazing. Tessa, welcome to Vance Publishing. She makes quite the impression. Wow. Uh, can we talk about your character then just a little bit without, you know, spoiling it for the audience, but obviously they're very familiar with, with the initial two play by here and Josephine. Um, you know, you, you, you come and spoil it for, for the couple. Yeah, to a degree. I mean, I definitely don't think that Trevor thinks he's spoiling it. Uh, I think that he probably thinks he's helping. Um, he's a very professionally minded, uh, uh, kind of upwardly mobile man who's looking to better himself and better his friends' lives and do a lot of good in that way. And so he sees Tessa and he kind of kind of becomes fascinated with her and I think that they share a lot of qualities. Um, but in that way, I don't think he's trying to, you know, mess anything up. I think he only thinks he's trying to improve a situation or helping in a way. And that's kind of who he is. He's a He's, uh, in many ways, the antithesis of Harvey. Harvey Scott? I didn't peg you as a bad boy type. Have you guys read a lot of young adult novels uh, when you were younger, and which ones in particular? What makes them so popular? I, I'm ashamed to say I haven't read as much as I, I, you know, I wish I did when I was um, or at least in that space, you know, with a young adult. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go with John Green. In, in, in. Are you in love with him? You're never gonna trust me. Trust you? Where has that ever gotten me? Yeah, I think I think if Joe's ashamed of her her reading um, CV, I, I, I'm pretty ashamed of mine. I'm I'm not the most avid reader. I think. Reading a lot of scripts makes you less, you know, uh, but that's actually no excuse for why I didn't read enough growing up. So I need another another excuse. Uh, yeah, I should I should read a lot more. I don't. A lot that things are getting better, but I don't know how to fix it. There is no your Tessa anymore. Uh, yeah, I I don't know if I read any young adult novels, maybe outside of the Hunger Games, which I guess you could consider oh, kind oh. of a young adult, um, which I quite liked First. actually. Um, but I read a lot of fantasy novels and horror novels and comics and played a lot of video games. So I'm not necessarily the, uh, the right one to ask, but uh, my girlfriend is quite the opposite from me and she watches obsessively all of these types of films and reads all of this type of stuff. And so she's definitely kept me up to speed. I, I just remembered, I think I've read the last book of The Hunger Games and the last book of Harry Potter and only because I saw the films that I wanted to know what happened next. You only read the last ones? I know. I mean, it was, I mean, because they're great. That's books. masochistic. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. independent books and it worked. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. This thing between you and Harden, it's not going to end well. Whatever our souls are made of. Isn't the same.